Hello everyone. Today we are going to work on a form generation with a Caramba plugin. Let's say we have a square and we want to fill it with a grid shell structure. So I'm going to bring this curve into my grasshopper screen. Next I'm going to create a boundary surface out of this curve. Next step is to create a mesh surface, which means making a surface from a mesh. We can define the U and V values as we did before, like putting a 12. I'm going to extract the points and also the curves of this mesh. So I'm going to use a mesh edge. and connect a curve to the first and the second input. Next, I'm going to use the endpoint component to extract the points. The important thing in here is to also use a duplicate to remove the duplicate points. As you see, we had um, 624 points, uh, which now we have 169. So the duplicates are removed now. Now we want to create our model. So let's go and use the assemble model. We are going to use our curves as the beam elements. So I'm going to go to the model and use line to beam component. Next, I'm going to connect the elements to the elements input of the assemble model. Also, I'm going to define the support points. For the support points, I'm going to use a strategy so that I can just pick up a few of the points, not all of them as the support points. And that's uh, by using a random component. So I'm going to use a list length to get the length of this list of points, which I have 169. And I'm going to create a range to create random inputs from the range. So I'm going to use a construct domain and define the B value as this list length because the A is zero by itself. Now I'm going to define how many numbers, how many uh, number of points I want to have as the support points. Let's put it on something between four to eight. And then I need a seed value, let's say 23, so that it can just iterate between them and create different values. So now if I connect a panel to the output of the random, we can see that we have four uh, inputs or four points from our list. But because uh, we want to use this as the index to, uh, to extract these items from the list of our points, we are going to use the uh, integer value for that. And now we have just integer values. Okay, now if I connect a list item to these points, and this is the items that I want to extract from. Now you see that these four points are selected. I want to use these points as a support points, so I need to go to the Caramba tab and select the support Caramba. Add uh, these items to the position, and I can lock the transitions in X, Y, Z, and rotations. Next, we want to define the loads. Let's go just with the simple load of gravity. 
and for the cross section we can also go to the cross section and use for example the box for the material we can also define it from uh, material selection for example we put it on wood these are similar to what we have done in the previous tutorial but uh, what we want to do now is to use uh, another algorithm for uh, generating the forms and that's by using the large deformation analysis so what I'm going to do is to connect the model to the model input of large deformation and define two values for increments and maximum displacement. I will put these two values as two, um, for example, this is on five. Let's put it on maybe seven so that it works on it for seven levels. And the maximum displacement, let's put it on something like two. or we can also decrease it but for now we can keep it like this the next thing that we should do is model view and also to reassemble model or disassemble the model which we can go to this part and use disassemble model so we have our model we can view this model by what you see in here also one thing is that the load is uh, going downward if we want to change it we need to define it so instead of vector uh, with a z value of minus one we can define it just z unit so that it goes upward okay Next, we can also not show these uh, loads, supports, just see the model. And now we can use the uh, analyze to see what's the displacement of our model. So if I connect the panel to the displacement, we can see that it has uh, this displacement of 1.6 centimeters now if I change the placement of these uh, points for example adding more points to it selecting more support points or also changing the seed value you can see that different generations are resolved okay but uh, there is a way to somehow make it automate so that it optimizes the structure and changes these values so that the displacement is becoming less for this step we are going to use Galapagos algorithm how we want to do optimize it is that we want to decrease this displacement so we are going to use the fitness and connect it to the displacement so this is what we want to be minimized then we should define for it what parameters are the parameters that it can change so in here because we have uh, these numbers so for the fitness we need to for the genome we need to just define numerical values for it but for now I'm going to just work with these two values and change them to see what's the best result so I'm going to connect this uh, genome to this and also by pressing shift to this one so both of them are the genomes that they can be changed so that I can see their fitness is uh, minimized also because I want to see how much this displacement it has I'm going to use a text on the screen and see what is the displacement in each step so I'm going to use a text I'm going to define the location for it for example somewhere like here defining this point as the location and 
And what is the text? Is this text displacement is this number? So I'm going to use a con concatenate and define this text for it. What this component does is to create a combined text from what you say, for example, writing a text and combine it with this number. So what you see as a result is displacement equals to this number. So I'm going to use this text and here and this is what we are seeing. Okay, let's move it, for example, put it in here. Okay, now we say we see the horizontal alignment, which is now on center, but we want this point to be the start. So I'm going to put it on one. So we are seeing the displacement equals to this number. We can also define the color for it, or we can simply bold it, for example, putting it on true. But also we can use a custom preview to add a color. Okay, so maybe now we just undo the boolean and this is what we see. Okay, so now we see the displacement on the screen and we see what we got as a result. We are going to um, turn on the Galapagos and that's by double clicking on it. And we can define if we want this number to be minimized or maximized, which we want it to be minimized because we want less displacement. We can go on with the setup that it has in itself. Let's go to the solver, define, see all the geometries or all the solutions that it creates and putting uh, putting it on the start solver now we can see that in each iteration it starts to create different solutions out of the combination of the numbers that it has and then it creates different outputs uh, out of it you can see that in here uh, as it goes uh, in each step, the, the displacement is becoming less, which means that our criteria is working and our results are becoming more matched with what uh, we want from it. So if I just scroll down, you can see that from 28 centimeters from the beginning, or also 40 centimeters displacement is becoming like 0 0.24, which is a good number. Okay, let's stop the solver and see what we got. These are some of the solutions that we got out of these. We can click on each of them, put reinstate to show that, but because this is the last one, it's already showing the, this one. So if I just click on another one and put reinstate, we can see what other examples we can see out of it. Let's say we want this last one because it's the best one but we can also see the others and then select between them because the machine doesn't choose for us it just shows some examples and we can decide between them but let's say for now this is the best one and we agree with it let's say okay Let's see how else uh, we can change this parameter so that it's more combined with what we intend for it. Uh, because one thing that we can see is that maybe the Z value of these points are becoming so high. So maybe this is not what we want from it. For creating this kind of solutions, we can define a fitness 
based on a combination of different uh, uh, targets. For example, one is the displacement and the other can be the z value of these points. For that, I'm going to extract the points and that's by using this point in here. I'm going to use a deconstruct point. So, I have x, y, and z value of these points. I can also connect one point prior to this component so that you can see these points. So, now I'm going to use a min max component, which I have it in heteropetera. And uh, we can define the maximum for it by using from this uh, output. So this is the maximum that I got from this. Let's say we want the uh, multiple of this number, the displacement, and also this number to be as less as possible. I mean, and the height is less and also the displacement is less. Maybe this is our aim. We c it can be different. It's just an example of how you can define the aims or targets for it. So I'm going to connect this as a result of uh, or as the fitness. So I'm going to double click on it again, putting it on minimize, which is now inside it. And I'm going to run it again. So it shows us the levels that this uh, is going on. We can continue to see what's the result after a specific time or we can just simply close it. Let's say I want to stop it. This is the last result. I can put it in state which is now showing me also. So the displacement is really low and the height is 1.9. So if we, I put it on another solution, for example, this one, we can see that this maximum height is different and also this displacement is different. And I can also check it with different solutions. Now we can define or select between them. For example, let's say this is the best result that we can get and we put it on OK. So this is showing the process of how we can find the form finding method for designing a grid shell based on defined target and values.